Hello there, and welcome to the fourth instalment in my Caribbean Island Hopping vlog series. It's my last full day in Barbados. Have I vlogged properly? No, I have not. I've just been so busy diving and... And I saw shipwrecks, which were pretty cool. I've uh, never been inside a shipwreck before, so it was a very cool experience. Uh, I just had a drink and whatever, so now I'm gonna have a shower because it is hot here and then I'm gonna go out and meet my cousin who I've never met before. I had a nice day out in Bridgetown, went shopping, checked out Freedom Park. This wall here has the surnames of local people inscribed into the bricks. It's kind of fun hunting down your own surname. <laughs> So after a nice tour of the capital, I headed back to Hastings where I was staying and started off my next adventure. I'm gonna go to a museum somewhere to learn about the history of Barbados. And then I got my flight to St. Vincent in the evening. It is so hot, but it's so peaceful. You can just walk around by yourself and no one really bothers you here which I love. I just left the beach trying to get to the main road. Do, 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 do. A look at the size of this hill. Do, 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 do. So I'm on my long journey to the museum. I've been walking for about 20 minutes. Walked along the beach, walked up some big hill, I'm sweating. And I'm at like a race course. I don't know what this is, but I see people riding horses. <sighs> Finally made it. I hope there's a water in here. There's no AC in here, it is so hot. There were some pretty cool exhibits inside about the history of Barbados, some of the wildlife and sea life as well. This museum was built in an old garrison, so here is an example of one of the old prison cells. Oh The only room that had AC was the kids museum so I actually spent a bit of time in here because I was baking. So you ride this bike and it shows you what kind of electrical devices you can power up. Seeing as I have nothing better to do I'm going to pretend to be a child and use all of these children exhibits. That's too much arm work. You can tell I had absolutely zero plans today. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna test it on this wind machine. Just checked out the History Museum, but it was so hot I didn't stay there long. So now I'm going to the George Washington Museum. Apparently that's where he stayed when he was in Barbados. So let's see what that's in. <laughs> when George Washington, who was the first president of the United States, was 19, he came to Barbados with his half-brother who had tuberculosis. They hoped that the warm weather would make him better. Unfortunately, it did not. So they stayed in this house for about two months and this was actually the only foreign place that George Washington ever lived in. George Washington contracted smallpox while he was in Barbados and after having this illness, he learned about the benefits of being vaccinated. This is the actual room that he slept in, which is kind of crazy. Had no idea he stayed in Barbados. I wonder how many of these artifacts were actually his. I was looking at the letter and I was like, wow, that's remained intact for a lot of years. The upstairs of the house is pretty much like a museum. There's a lot of exhibits up there. The house itself is actually pretty big. This 
museum is quite interesting. If you get to learn about George Washington's life, and then there's a bit about slavery, so I'm in the plantation room now. I've got AC in here as well, but it's very interesting, lots of stuff to learn about. It's casually on the table. So after George Washington had moved out of this house, it was sold to the British and their commanding officers moved in. They built garrison tunnels underground and they're about 200 metres long. So I went in them and let me tell you, it is narrow and dark. We're concerned about this. We recommend you do not enter. Oh, so I'm walking underground through this garrison tunnel. It is, you can't even see, narrow as hell. I think I'm gonna run, I'm scared. I had to put my phone light on because it was dark. Thank God I'm at the end. A bit claustrophobic. Oh, museum's done. I'm taking the beach walk back to, I'm gonna get some food. Then back to my hotel. When I get to my hotel, have a shower. And then I'm going to St. Vincent. <laughs> Leaving Barbados now, heading to the airport for St. Vincent. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I can't lie, this was a very random instalment, but in my next vlog, I will be in St. Vincent and the Grenadines.